Hi everyone, a big welcome or welcome back to my channel. Summer is well and truly upon us, so let's chat about my summer reading. So my summer reading has definitely already begun. I've been reading a lot of upcoming releases and generally sunny books. At this time of year I love to read romance novels, I love YA, I love hazy weird books, I love good old family dramas. So first I'm going to chat about a few recent releases and upcoming releases for the summer that I have already read. These are my absolute standouts all stunning, all great to read in summer specifically. You all need to go and get your hands on them. And then we will move on to my TBR for the rest of summer. So first up we have We Are Together Because by Kerry Andrew. This is a character focused apocalypse novel that came out in spring from Atlantic Books. It follows four siblings during a hot lethargic summer in France when eerie, inexplicable things start to occur. This is a perfect summer read. I loved reading it in my garden on the odd occasion that the sun came out. The vibes in here are sexy and sultry with this real oppressive heat throughout. It is slow building and hazy and precarious. The prose shimmers from start to finish, bringing everything to life so vividly. The end of the world here is framed through a character-focused narrative as we read from each of the siblings' perspectives. All four of them are so well realised with really complicated, distinct voices, exploring a myriad of coming-of-age themes and filled with tension and exploration and uncertainty. This is totally delicious, I can't recommend it more highly. Next up we have Heart Be At Peace by Donal Ryan, coming from Doubleday on August 15th. This is a companion novel to Donal Ryan's earlier work, The Spinning Heart, though it can be read completely separately. It is set in a rural town in Ireland post-economic collapse as the locals look forward to the future and it is told through 21 distinct voices. I don't have the words to convey just how beautiful and achingly tender and perceptive a writer Donal Ryan is. He understands human feeling like no one else. This is quiet and understated with an inevitable feeling of tension running as an undercurrent throughout. Donal Ryan's insights are always complicated and generous and ultimately feel totally, completely convincing and real. He's the kind of writer where you'll want to underline sections, you will want to experience reading them over and over again. If you haven't read any Donal Ryan yet, what are you doing? You all need to try out his work and I feel like summer is the perfect time. Next up I have recently read If My Words Had Wings by Danielle Jawondo. This is a new YA novel that came out from Simon & Schuster Children's in May. It is set in Manchester in the north of England and tells the story of 15 year old Tyrese as he is released from juvenile prison after a two-year stay for armed robbery. Inspired by a visit from a black poet while inside, Tyrese sets out to forge a positive new life and find his voice. This is, hands down, the best YA novel I have read this year. Last year, Tyrese's voice as a black Mancunian youth feels like perfection, as do all of the side characters' voices as well. Some of the most authentic feeling writing I have read possibly ever. The book explores themes of systemic racism, joint enterprise and spoken word poetry. It all feels so urgent and is just handled so beautifully. It inspired me to think about and learn more about the issues presented in here. This is raw and painful 
and ultimately so hopeful. I think so many people would enjoy this book, even if you don't typically read YA. It is so strong. It blew me away. Now moving on to my TBR for the rest of summer. We have more new literary releases, summer romances, a memoir. Needless to say, I have a lot more books than this lined up to read, but these are some of my priorities. First up, we have Same As It Ever Was by Claire Lombardo. This came out from W and N last month. It tells the story of protagonist Julia, who finds herself on the placid plateau of midlife after decades of upheaval, emotional turbulence, and countless almost derailments. Then when people and feelings from her past resurge, Julia finds herself drawn back into past patterns once again. I am currently reading this. I'm totally loving it. Claire Lombardo's debut, The Most Fun We Ever Had, was one of my favourite reads a couple of years ago, and this is turning out to be just as strong, if not better. She nails messy, painful, heartfelt family dramas. The only person I can think to liken her to is Anne Tyler, and I don't say that lightly. I am loving this. I am so ridiculously excited to be reading it. Next up, we have Mammoth by Eva Baltazar, translated by Julia Sanchez, coming from And Other Stories on the 6th of August and translated from the Catalan. This is set in a farmhouse deep in the countryside and follows the story of a disenchanted young lesbian exploring themes of queer parenthood and survival. This is another one that I'm currently reading. I have just started it, and wow. I knew this was going to be good. I first experienced Eva Baltazar through her novel Boulder in 2022, and I totally fell in love. Some of the best translated fiction I have ever read, the most brilliant look at lesbian partnership, and the realities and complexities of parenthood. Eva Baltasar never shies away from saying the painful things, and she also never wastes words. She is brilliant. Next up on my TBR is The Summer Swap by Sarah Morgan. This is Sarah Morgan's newest summer romance, it is set at a remote cottage and follows two women. Cecilia, who is celebrating her 70th birthday at the cottage, which is filled with many years of complicated memories for her. And Lily, who, after dropping out of medical school, is cleaning houses for the summer and becomes Cecilia's unexpected guest. Then, Todd, Cecilia's grandson and Lily's unrequited crush, turns up. I am a massive Sarah Morgan fan. I particularly love her festive romances. I read one every Christmas. Her summer romances are a more unknown territory for me, but I am super excited to get into reading more of her warmer month reads. I expect this will have all of the heart that I am used to from her. She just balances realistic touching character insights and relationships with delicious rolling plots so well. Such a reliable and comforting author for me. Next up we have My Good Bright Wolf by Sarah Moss. This is Sarah Moss's memoir coming from Picador on the 29th of August. It is said to be an unflinching examination of the narratives surrounding women and food that we all absorb and the way our healthcare system continues to discount the experiences of women and minorities and people suffering from mental illness. I am a big Sarah Moss fan. I have read many of her books at this point. I find her to be such a unique and affecting writer. I love her prose, which is always razor sharp. I love the lengths of her novels. They are always short and snappy and so punchy. I really enjoy a good memoir every now and again, so I'm really excited to try this one, both to learn more about this woman, 
but also just to experience more of her writing. And finally, today we have A Spring of Love by Celia Dale. First published in 1960, this is being re-released by Daunt Books Publishing at the end of September. It follows the story of 30-year-old Esther who lives a small, ordered, routine life with her grandmother before she meets Raymond, who makes her feel, for the first time, truly alive. Then she learns something truly horrifying about Raymond that threatens to shatter everything. I first read Celia Dale when Daunt Books re-released another one of her novels, A Helping Hand, and it was so fab, cutting and dark and delicious under the guise of this outward mundanity. I just love her vibes, her novels feel super unique and well-crafted. I'm really excited to read this one soon. So there we go guys, those were some books that I've already read and loved this summer and some books that I can't wait to read really soon. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you got some recommendations. Please let me know how your summer reading is going, are you reading anything in particular because it's summer or do you just read as normal? Please let me know and tell me what the best thing you've read recently is. Thank you so much for watching, as always I appreciate it so much. I hope you're all well and I'll hopefully see you very soon in another video. Bye guys.